Oh, wow, it. look who it is, little Miss Dobbs. Let's have a look. <laughs> wow, she's a stunner. Yeah, it takes after a mum. Oh, she is beautiful. <laughs> you must be very proud. We are, yeah. And is everything all right after what happened? Yeah, they're fine. No thanks to Tina. No, but we want to forget about that now. Concentrate on this little beauty. Well, you do right. So what's she called then? Haven't decided yet. We can't agree. Oh, give up now, Tyrone. The women always win. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll have to get my cast signed by someone famous. Maybe we'll flog it after. Yeah, they can write witty comments like um, drug dealer, traitor, that sort of thing. Well, it's a good job you haven't got one then. I just think what they put on there. Oh, I can take a good guess. Hey, you never know, you might be able to write Baby Killer now as well. It won't come to that. Look, from what you said, it was just a shove. It's not like you pushed it down a flight of stairs. Maybe we can tell that to the posse. Right, I better go, because I told Owen I put a few hours in at the yard. In case you're interested, Kirsty's back home. And? She's fine. And baby. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. Should have seen Ty's face. He's not stopped grinning. Bet he's over the moon. Shame we can't go around and congratulate him. Yeah. But not Kirsty. Yeah, I can't believe you two. After everything that's happened. Th this doesn't change anything, Jace. She's still a nutter. And she is hitting Tyrone. Oh, I've had enough. You know, the sooner you two move out, the better. So, Izzy, why are you considering service? How was work? Yeah, all right. I had to keep my head down when I walk back home, in case anyone threw anything at me, you know? Look. Ignore what Jason said. Yeah, well, it's not just him, though, is it? It's everyone. Doesn't matter that Kirsty and the baby are all right. They're never going to let me forget it. Right, come on. We're going shopping. What? We're going to put an end to all this. So what are you going to call her? Well, I like Sadie. But mm. it makes me think of Springer Spaniels, don't know why. <laughs> or Harper. Like the Beckhams. Mm. Can't call it Harper. It sounds like something you stick down the loop. Yeah, you should hear his choices. There is nothing wrong with Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> you butchered German. <laughs> More visitors. It's amazing how popular you get when you have a baby. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but then after a few weeks, the exact opposite happens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. Can we come in? No. Tyrone, look, I'm really sorry about what happened. You and me both. And I, I want to apologise to Kirsty. We brought this for the baby. Come on, Ty, please. We, we need to put things right. Right. Oh, yeah. baby girl. <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Come to pay your instalment. No, I'll, uh, I'll bring it around tomorrow. We came to give you this. We don't want it. But... I'm sorry, okay? Whatever's gone on between me and you, I should never have shoved you like that. No, you shouldn't. Ty, we just thought, you know, with, with the baby arriving and that, it'd be a good time to bury the hatchet. So start afresh. After what she did? Risking my baby like that and all the nasty lies you've been spreading about me hitting Tyrone? I mean, am I being unreasonable? Would you forgive them in my shoes? Well, no, I can't say that I would. But there weren't lies with the curse day. But hopefully it's all over now and we're willing to forget about it if you are. Well, that's very big of you. How dare you? How dare you come round here and carry on with this vendetta? Spoiling what should be the happiest day of my life. Yeah, I think you should go. Please, Ty. Just go and don't come back, OK? Well, don't say we didn't try. Go on, Tommy. Just chuck it in the bin. We're taking it back to the shop so we can get a refund. Of course. Yeah, I'm sorry. We need all the money we can get, Tommy. I know. But like I said, I'm sorry. So you two got a bell. It's Kirsty, isn't it? She won't give an inch. But what's happened now? We tried to make the peace. You won't have any of it. Would you blame her? We got that for the baby and a card. Yeah. It costs quite a bit. It's not like we've got the money. Well, I don't think that's going to cut it, man. Well, I've apologised that many times, Jason. I've lost count. What more does she want, blood? Are you for real, Tina? Well, just shut it, will you? We've had enough fat growth today. Well, if you can't take it, don't be doling it out. What's supposed to me? Stop it, you two. You're beginning to sound like a couple of kids. I can't believe it's come to this. We used to have a laugh, and now look at us. Yeah, well, it's a good job we're going our separate ways, isn't it, eh? We've got nowhere to go, Jason. Well, Maria said I can move in with her, so I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Good for you. Well, I'm just saying... You better get yourself sorted. 
See you in the back. Rita. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Must say you don't look so clever. Fine. You look like a lost soul. Everything's gone wrong. My life is a massive disaster. No one wants to know us anymore. Can you blame them? After everything that's happened? Do you know, the first time I clapped eyes on Kirsty, I knew she was going to be trouble. Well, I'm sure she'd say exactly the same thing about you. And now everyone's taking her side over mine. You should see the way people look at Marita. It's, it's like they hate me. Nobody hates you. They're annoyed with you, disappointed because, frankly, your behaviour has been appalling. We fancy pushing her like that. You should thank your lucky stars everything turned out fine with her and the baby. You know it was an accident. Oh, yes. The latest in the long line. Oh, you're a stubborn article. You won't be told. Well, she won't accept my apology. What more can I do? Stay away from her, as I've told you a hundred times. Great result for Kirsty, isn't it? Playing all innocent, playing the martyr. Listen to yourself, Tina. All that bitterness inside you, eating away at you. Is this the sort of person you want to be? You've got to let it go, love. Worked out. You and Dennis, you seem so happy together. We're very lucky. And so are you. You and Tommy are made for each other. A few months back, I would have agreed with you. I couldn't have been happier. But now, we do now but argue. Well, you're under a lot of pressure. And times are tough at the moment, but they will get better. I don't see how. Everything's gone wrong and I don't know how to fix it. Listen, you and Tommy love and care for each other. That counts for a lot. Yeah, but it's not enough, though, is it? We're out of our depth, Rita, and I can't see a way out. No. Why don't you come and stay with me tonight? Oh, what about Tommy? Well, I'll phone him and tell him you're safe. Hi. Take it you spoke to Rita then. Yeah, she um she phoned last night. Said you were gonna stay there. You cleaned up? Yeah. How come? Just figured it'd make a change for me lying around here all day feeling sorry for myself. Oh, I've been thinking. About you. About us. Yeah, me too. What did you decide? Don't love you. Same here. Look, I know I've been a total nightmare to live with. Well, not a total one. But things are going to change. I'm going to change. Starting today. What's brought all this on? Waking up this morning without you next to me. Just got me thinking what it'd be like if I lost you for good. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Yeah. Well, what am I to do for you? Well, you can help us think of a name for our little one to start. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're struggling to agree on one. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Well, I've always been partial to Bronwyn myself. <laughs> Right, I'll, I'll run it past Kirsty, see what she thinks. In the meantime, I'll have a sticky bum. Ah, Second thoughts, make it two. Fatherhood's giving you an appetite. No, they're for Kirsty. She's got a proper sweet tooth for those things. See, I always thought women just had cravings while they was pregnant. <laughs> Didn't realise it was after birth and all. Well, perhaps they're not cravings, perhaps. Uh, she just likes sticky bums. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought of that. <laughs> Cheers, Roy. Ah, correct. Thank you. Um, 
Um, two bacon and eggs, sarnies, and two teas, please, Roy. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, why are you looking at the job pages? We're supposed to be trying to find a flat. Well, without the pizza round and the security job, I'm going to have to find something else to get some money, aren't I? And what can you do in your condition? Well, I wasn't thinking of a trial for Man United, was I? I don't know, maybe an office job, telly sales. Tell me you'd hate to work in an office. I know. I'd do it for you. Well, I'm sorry it's about dampener and things. I, I don't know, it just feels like every time we try and make things better, this big size 10 boot comes out of nowhere and kicks us in the teeth. Well, what else can we do? Hey, eh? we, we can't give up. We've got no choice. Right now, this is our life, so we've just got to deal with it. So come on, <sighs> get looking. Yeah, I'm fine, love. I wonder, could you just get me the first aid boxes? Uh, I think it's in there. Yeah? What's happened? No, I've caught something now. Let me have a look at... Oh, oh, that's master. That's my own fault. I wasn't concentrating. You seem to have a lot on your mind at the minute. Ah. Yeah, you could say that. Well, you know what they say. Problem shared. Well, I suppose you're going to find out sooner or later. Gary and Izzy have split up. Why? I thought those two were for life. Mm, so did I. It's all this business about them trying for a baby. Izzy blames herself for what happened. And I suppose she thought the only option left was to call it a day. She seems to think that that way Gary can find someone else that can give him what he really wants. Ah! And that's a family. Well, I heard Katie was going to help. No such thing as a secret around here, then. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, you're all right. Yeah, she was going to try for a baby, but Izzy decided that it was too much to put her through. And you know what? Hard as it is, I think she's made the right decision. Mm. Well, there's got to be someone who can, um, what do you call it? Be a surrogate for him. I mean, there's got to be places that deal with this kind of thing. Put you in such as the right person. It's worth a try, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. There you go. Be careful next time. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. I think I was quite fancied being a nurse. No, not for that. For listening. Sorry. Well, neither of us are going for a great time at the moment, are we? Anyway, I've got a shift in the pub. See you later. See ya. Please? You on a detox? No, I'm skint. I bet all my money on a horse stall his mum said was going to win. Why'd you listen to her? Because she said she was psychic. <laughs> Not her. Oh! oh! Hey, is this one of those underage drinkers we keep reading about? <laughs> yeah, she gets that from her dad. <laughs> Don't you sweet pea? She is gorgeous. And she gets that bit from her mum. <laughs> so have you got a name yet? Finally, we think so. Well, come on then. Ruby. Ruby! Oh, it suits her. Me and Maria had an aunt called Ruby. Oh, yeah? She was dead horrible. She had, like, a massive moustache like this. Anyway, nice one, mate. She's Ow. You look like you need a drink. Yeah, well, I better not, otherwise I won't stop. So, I take it the job hunting didn't go too well? Nope. And I just had a call from the pizza place. Mickey reckons that if I don't give him that money for the van that I told ASAP, he's definitely going to call the cops. But... We haven't even paid Tyrone what we owe him this week. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. That's it, I'm stuffed. I mean, where the hell am I going to find two grand right, from? Right, first of all, you're not on your own, OK? We'll, we'll get it sorted. How? D do you know someone with that kind of money? No, didn't think so. Tommy! Tommy, wait! Talk to me! What do you want me to say? I screwed up yet again, end of. Just leave it, will you? Where are you going? Home. Oh, we've still got one. Oh. Right, I'll be around yours at about seven, yeah? OK, and look smart. I'll even have a shower. How's that sound? Yeah, don't go mad. Hi, love. You all right? I am. You don't look too sure, though. Ah, oh, it's just been one of those days. Well, him the kid in one of those years. Oh, what's wrong? Tommy's boss is putting pressure on him for this van that he's crashed. He expects him to cough up two grand and fast. I'm guessing you need that like a hole in the head. Well, a hole in the head sounds pretty good. <laughs> but I'm not going to bore you with my problems. You've probably got enough in your plate. Although you do sound a lot happier than you did this morning. Thanks to you. How do you mean? Well, I took your advice. I'd look on the internet. 
found some places that put surrogates in touch with uh, couples who can't have a kid of their own. And the upshot is, Gary and you got back together, going to give it another go. Aww. All going out for a meal to celebrate. Aww. Oh, that's great. I'm really happy for Thank you. Yeah. Well, now all we have to do is find the right person that can have a baby for them, hope the treatment works, and start signing the checks. How much will it cost? We don't know, really. I mean, there's medical bills to pay for, and then there's money for the surrogate. What? So, so you pay them to have the baby? I don't really know. That. There's more like expenses, really. Although, the way things are going, I'm not sure I'll get much change out of 15 grand. <laughs> Flaming hell. Maybe I should have the baby for him. <laughs> you what? Well... It will solve both our problems, won't it? Both. There are easier ways of making money. Not the sort of money I need, Owen. Yeah, anyway, I'll better go. Yeah. Owen? Yeah? Have a good night. What are you doing up? Tell me, I had about you paying killers. Have you taken him? Tommy, look at me. Have you been crying? I'm fine. What's happened to all this positive thinking? Getting a job and looking forward to things. I am. I am. I'm going to. I just, just wish... Listen, listen. Things will get better, OK? There's too many good people up there who love us for things to keep going this wrong. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Come here. Come here. Don't you ever say at work. I'm going mad here. Can't remember if the bog roll just fixed the inventory thing. Do you really think they're watching over us? Your dad, my granddad's. Yeah, I think they've just got distracted with something else. No, my granddad, Jeff, that probably means Blackpool will play. <laughs> <sighs> I hope he can't see me. I'd hate him to see how much I've messed everything up. Right, that's bog roll holder fix. That's included. Chase, mate, we've got nowhere to go. Can't you just hold off the sale for a week? I'm sorry. Like... I'll give you notice. You'll have to sort some out. Why is everyone treating us like we killed someone? I'm starting to think it might have been better for you if I had been killed uh, in that accident. Don't you ever let me hear you say that again. Right? Ever. So, either this baby monitor is rubbish or our Ruby is turning into a bowl of Rice Krispies. <laughs> I can't even remember who gave us that. It's only one up from tin cans and string. Oh, so you mean Ruby isn't turning into cereal? Pity. I'm starving. <laughs> like you'd swap it for anything, Mr Soppy. But it's your singing last night that's done for that monitor. I read her a story. I crept to the door and saw you. Rocking her and singing, you are my sunshine. Well, I may as well make the most of this bit. Until she realises I'm a total embarrassment. Where are you going? Until we get a new one of these, I'll be the baby monitor. You are I'm gonna buy one of those at records. You want? You make me happy. Cabin, let's get some stationery. I can take it out with petty cash, okay? Here's a receipt. How serious were you yesterday? What about? Being a surrogate for Izzy. Did you mean it? I don't know. I'm serious. Well, I haven't really thought about it. Well, think about it now. How much? Well, I mean, you don't mess about. <laughs> so you expect me to do this out of the goodness of my heart? Five grand. <laughs> then the answer to that question is, uh, no, I wasn't that serious. It was me a penny. Name your price, then. Go on. How much? Me and Tommy are old time own money, right? We need to replace a van that he nearly died in, and we're about to be homeless. See, I like your Izzy, genuinely. But I can't go through that. Well, I have to know that I'm coming out the other side of it with a new start. And five grand isn't going to do that, Owen. Yeah, boss. I didn't get you one. You want one? And yours one with the red sauce and your change, three pound and one p. That's owed to me, Ta. That can go towards the deposit for a flat. Thanks. Right, we're gonna move this arc or what? Got a guy waiting in yeah, the Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah? Nice to see you putting that ream of paper to good use. Scrap. Maths? That's 
promising. Not for you, it's not. I've been working out how much rent we can afford once we've been chucked out. Not that we've got a deposit. So? I'm not carrying your grandkid for five grand. Name your price. 30k. Give over. That's not expenses, love. That's extortion. Fine. Get a stranger off the internet. No, I'd rather get someone we know. Someone I like. You, basically. You wouldn't let us down. 10k. Owen, that barely pays Tyrone off. 12. 12,000 pounds to give my daughter something precious to look forward to. You know, to. you know, haggling is making me feel cheap. I'm out. 15,000. Yeah, I'll stop you feeling cheap. Final offer. Take it or leave it. Yeah, I heard that. You're not serious you're going to give her 15 grand to do a bit of filing? Pro rata, she'll only be working a few days a year. Well, I want a pay rise then. Uh, I thought you two were off for dinner. Well, go on then, sub's a tenner. <laughs> everyone think I'm made of money, yeah, it's ten quid, now get lost. And give us on the shifting these lads off the back of the wagon, come on. Come on. How's it there? Excited, scared, helping again. We both are. We're looking into surrogacy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll understand. You know, Mum always used to say, when things are tough, try and imagine something in the future, something good, and try and head towards it. And yesterday I couldn't, because I thought I'd lost Izzy. But now, somewhere out there, I can see me, her, and our kid. And however hard things might get, I know that's where we're heading. You'd be great parents. Uh, too, right? <laughs> You know, I know everyone's been giving you grief, but it'll blow over. You and Tommy will be fine, I promise. Thanks. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. I'll do it. You will. Yeah, I will. There's a form to fill in. Should I print it? What does it ask? Do I have to say about my uh, criminal record? Stop fretting. Bet you there's a box which says would make a great dad, which we can take. Hey! Rest, come on. Where is he then, your dad? Well, I don't know. He just rang to check we were, is he? I assumed he was bringing some dinner. Oh, well, it better be more important than that. Roy's not happy me slinking off in the middle of the rush. There he is. Oh, hello. Good. I thought you might stand me up. What's more important that can't wait till tea time? Their surrogate can't. She'll, uh, she'll be working at tea time. Our surrogate? Reliable, local, willing, generous. I even go so far as to say, keen. <laughs> Who? Come on in, love. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> She's not here, pal. Where is she then? I don't know. Off with Owen. Probably celebrating being on a better salary than me. Hey? Well, I heard a magnum before, didn't I? I'll tell you what, mate. That bird's got some steel in her. But she's ruthless. Probably flutter her eyelashes, I Yeah, well, her skin. She's right to have Oh, well, maybe now you'll lay off my back about the flat. Well, I brought her a sandwich, that's all. We'll put it in the fridge for me. Oh, she stinks. What is it? Piccoli. Piccoli and what? Come on, piccoli. It's all that was in the fridge, and Tina likes it. Oh, that's wrong. Hey, she's not pregnant, is she? No, we can barely afford to feed ourselves. I asked you about this, Jace. For what? Whip round for Tyrone, hey? Do you want to chip in as well? You know, might help sort things out between you and him. Wave an apology like. I'm nothing to apologise to him for. And I probably need the money more than they do. Don't help himself, that lad, does he? Why would you? Does that really matter? Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, Is I wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't money involved. I thought you were allowed to pay. How much? Expenses. You, you don't need to fret about that. But you've already said you're paying for the IVF. So it's about money? No, not just about money, but, but money too. I mean, isn't that better than when it was your case and all those emotions got tangled up? You do realise when the baby's born, it'd be legally yours. I mean, that's why we were going to go with a stranger, so we know they wouldn't change their mind. And you can be sure of that, can you? Look... If we wanted our own kids, we'd have him. Mine and Tommy's, not, not yours and his. Well, at least with a stranger, we knew it's because they believed in it. I feel like I'm in an exam here. Hang on, Faye's not in, is she? Faye! I came home for my dinner. Oh, 
If you come home for your dinner, you come to the cafe. That's the rule. Sauce? What are you lot doing here? You, uh, you should be getting back to school, of course. OK. Hi, Tina. Hi. We're just having a chat, that's all. It's nice to see your brother and Izzy back together again, isn't it? Yeah. Bye. Straight back to school. You're not an exam, love. I promise. It's just that, you know, it's, it's a lot for everyone to get their head around, that's all. We all want this to work. Oh, that's very generous here. Well, what a giveaway. So needs to can't get hold of, right? Yeah. Tied on's game. There they are now. Ty! What's his name again? Who? The little boy, the little boy. Quick. Ruby. Ruby, ah. Huh? Ruby! She's just so gorgeous. <laughs> so, when we went in the baby's head. <laughs> Guys, you just named the nine and pump count me in, yeah? Uh, there you go, mate. I had a bit of a whip round. A few quid just to get yourself some it. Oh, oh, cheers, Kev. There's no card with it, but I wrote down the name of everyone who's chipped in. We can get that baby monitor. No, oh, you don't want to use that money for practical things. Got other money coming in for that. Should take it to the pub and wet Ruby's head good and proper. Ooh, so there's a plan. We've got some good mates. They should celebrate with you. Yeah, but this money should be for Ruby, really. Sound all that, Kev. Cheers. I'm made up for you, mate. I really am. What is it you're worried about, is it? It's all moving so fast. It's such a big decision. For me or for you? Both. Right, I better go because I'm going to be late for the pub. I feel like you got the wrong impression of me, eh? It's not all about money. But I know what you two have been through and I actually want to help. And I not just do this for anybody, not for any price. But we do need the money. Would you rather have lied? No, of course we wouldn't, honestly. It means you doing us a favour as well as me doing you one. We all get a future out of it. That's got to be a good thing, yeah? <laughs> right, well, have a think about it and um, let me know. Well, I think she's sincere. She's sounding sincere. What do you think? Can you afford it? Listen, if it makes you happy, then... Yes, I can afford it. I think Tina's right for this, you know, I really do. Oh, foul. Old and funk outfit? Oh, come on, Dev. You must have snuck a little bit of funk onto your Walkman when you was at your fan ting way. Mm, you know, that's a lovely idea and ting, Lloyd, but while the kid's away, I'm going to make the most of it and do my tax return. I can't believe I'm being stood up for the tax return. Right, see. Hi. Emergency chocolate, please, Dev. Yeah, listen, perhaps, Tina, you could find her if your boyfriend's actually here to buy something or if we're playing a one-man game of musical statues. Only I need to just lock up for five minutes. You all right? Tyrone and Kirsty still out there? No. She can't waste this opportunity to rub my nose in it. She's such a cow. Wow, what she said now? You know, actually, I'm late for work. Come in the Rovers and have a drink. No, I've got to go get my stitches out. Right, well, after then, what I talk to you? With them lot wetting the baby's head in there. No, Ta. See you at home. Right, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Trust me. OK? <laughs> ah. Did you just swear? No. You did? It's just difficult getting off the bus, that's all. You know you can get one of them cars where you don't need to use your feet at all? Yeah. A girl at school. Her dad's in a wheelchair, right? But he still drives her in. Looks like an armor car, really. In fact, it's quite flash. You could get one instead of getting the bus. Well, my leg's gonna get better, though, innit? You could still get a flash car. Yeah, chance to be a fine thing. Skin. With the money team is getting, <laughs> from Owen. Yeah, that's just wages. It's not gonna get me a new car. It barely even covers the rent. No, the other money. For having Izzy's baby. You what? Tina's having Gary and Izzy's baby. Hey? No, she's not. And if I hear you're going it's around... It's true. Do you want me to go and tell Anna that her daughter's a liar? She knows all about it. I heard him talking at dinner. What exactly did you hear? Well, let go. Tell me. Tina came round and said that she was going to have their baby. And Owen's paying. We're back in Coronet. Faye, you can't just drop a bombshell like this and then walk off. When exactly did this happen? In our house. Don't worry. They weren't including me in the discussion. You mean you weren't in the room? I was on the stairs. 
there's nothing wrong with my hearing. <laughs> right, so uh, you could have got the wrong end of the stick and misheard. Tina offered to have a baby for him, for money. She said they'll think about it. Do you swear to me? Yes. This, this is a terrible thing to lie about. You, you could get in big trouble for this. I'm telling the truth. Whose idea was it? Did you approach her? Oh, Tina brought the subject up first. I can see why she wants to do it, but when I think about it, I don't really know her. I do. I don't know, I just sometimes, I think she's a bit... Oh, no, I, I can't say that. It sounds like I'm judging. It's just that when you're asking someone to be a surrogate for you, carry your baby and then hand it over, you've got to be sure about them. Go on, what were you going to say just now? She's a bit what? Unstable. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, listen. Uh -uh. Yeah. OK, she's had a few problems with Tommy. And a lot of girls would have walked out by now, but she didn't, mm. all right? She stuck with him. She sees things through, is he? Mm. Yeah, well, I like her. I've always liked her, even when she went out with David. Mm. No, I've liked her since she started working for us. She's, mm. she's decent, reliable and open. Honey, I wouldn't contemplate this if she wasn't. Do you want a can, babe? Don't you feel a bit weird about the idea of Tina McIntyre having your baby? No, it's our baby. She just carries it. Yeah, she's put her hat in the ring. We don't have to go with her. Oh, well, when you're making it sound like we're employing her. Look, you're going to have doubts whoever you go with, love, OK? You could waste months, years, when the answer's right under your nose. I feel like I'm being negative, like nobody's good enough. No, listen, you were right to have doubts about Katie. Yeah, and if you feel the same way about Tina, we can wait. Come on, you know how I feel about this whole situation. I would love a family with you. But it's not the be-all and end-all. The one thing that I can't live without is you. Well, Tina is offering to do this for us. Out of the blue. Maybe it's fate. I should be biting her hand off rather than worrying. And this is the best shot we could get at having a baby of our own. You having a drink? Good job they banned smoking in pubs, innit? Eh? Very bad for a woman in your condition, smoking. Even passive smoking. My condition? Your biological clock must be ticking faster than I thought. It's more like a bomb. <laughs> What? It's certainly blown my mind. Tommy. Look. You said you weren't even ready to have my baby, yet you're perfectly happy to have someone else's. Right, nothing has been agreed. Oh, so you did offer then? Faye didn't imagine what she heard. I can't believe she knows more about it than me. But I was going to talk to you about it. Go on then. Talk. I'm listening. <laughs> what on earth possessed you, T? And why? I mean, do you know what really bugs me? Why didn't you ask me about it? Because I knew you wouldn't like the idea. Should we drink in your condition? I'm not pregnant. Yet. We don't even know that it will work. All we've done is talk about the idea. Not to me. But then, why would you ask my opinion? Look, I haven't had a chance to tell you. I'm not keeping anything from you. I don't keep secrets. I haven't agreed to anything. I said I'll think about it. Why? <sighs> because I knew Gary in, is it? We're having problems. Oh, so what, you thought you'd come to the rescue? That's very noble. You know, I'd like to think I'd always help out a friend in you, but you're not even that close. No, but I still feel sorry for him. But to carry a baby for him for nine months is ridiculous. I'm not just doing it for them, I'm doing it for us. There's no us where this is concerned. I wouldn't even consider it if we didn't need the money. <laughs> we can get by. We're desperate. Yeah, but selling your body is not the answer. <gasps> That's a horrible thing to say. Yeah, well, it's true. But I need to get back to work. We'll talk about this when I get home. Here. Right, mate. Look, I know things are difficult for you two, but this is not the answer. You've spoken to Tina then? No. Faye told me a little secret. Faye? But I think you're taking advantage, Owen. Hey? Eh? <laughs> you know how hard up we are. Yeah, you, you dangle this prospect of easy money under her nose. No way. It was her idea, not ours, mate. She came to us. <laughs> We're brassic. If she hasn't spoken to <laughs> Listen, mate, we are. We are chuffed to bits, right, that she would do something so kind and, and well, thoughtful. Well, look, we can scrap the idea. I don't want to come between you and her. Why are you so against the idea? Look, I know it's a bit of a shock, but just think about it. No. I don't want to think about it. I hate the idea. I think it's wrong. Wrong? Wrong, weird. Look, 
I'm sorry that I think that, but I do. And I'm not going to let it happen. How we can go ahead with this now? Why are you saying that, love? I don't want to come between Tommy and Tina. Listen, if Tina had told him first instead of hearing it from Faith... He's right. Yeah? He, he, he might feel differently about it tomorrow. Yeah. And he might hate the idea even more. Hi, darling. Do you have a nice time at choir practice? Tamara Calvert drowns everyone else out. And did you see anybody? Anybody that you knew? Might have. Tommy Duckworth? <sighs> Oh, it's all right, sweetheart. Nobody's angry with you. You see, what we were talking about, love, was private. Yeah. It's not something we wanted everybody knowing about. Am I in trouble? Mm, no, darling, but I think we need to sit down and have a proper chat. You are always whispering about something, or else you're falling out, and people are getting upset. I just want everything to be nice, and everyone to be happy. Oh, darling, hey, we will be. We will be, I promise. Don't you worry about anything. Why don't you go up and get your gym jams on, here? I'll come up in a bit. Maybe we need to take a step back. Me? It's creating too much aggro. <sighs> he was dead over there, so she let me leave early. Got some cans. I'll go and get changed. I should have talked to you first, okay? I'm sorry. I feel ashamed. What? I mean, I'm the one that got us into all this mess, but you're prepared to do something as drastic as this. I should be touched. But I'm not. I feel disgusted, if I'm honest. Disgusted? That you'd even consider Tommy, it. Tommy, we've got no choice. When you get pregnant, I want it to be our baby you carry it out. We've, we've talked about this. That's it, and this doesn't change anything. It changes everything. Apart from everything else. You'd already have one child. Yeah, that's not mine. Not biologically. <laughs> Gary seems to think I should just get used to the idea. Oh, Gary, so what, you've been seeing? Left him in no doubt about how I feel. But I'm going into this with my eyes wide open, Tommy. And if you're worried about what people think... It's not about what anybody else thinks. It's about me and you. It's about what we can accept. What we can't accept. And this crosses the line for me. Well, I'm prepared to do anything legal to get out of I've said no. Does that not count for anything? Does, does that not make you think again? Of course I do, but... But if I say I'm going to do something... No, I won't I... go along with it. I can't. Then we've got a bit of a problem, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Because if you go through with this regardless... Don't expect me to be there for you. Tommy... I mean it, Tina. They can find... Somebody else to have their baby, and we can buy money somewhere else. Where? Where? You tell me where. You know what mess we're in, Tommy. I'm doing this for us. Well, if you go ahead with it, that's the end of me and you. I mean it. We're finished. I'd have helped you with that. Yeah, it was done now. Is there anything else I could help you with? Nope, I'm fine. Jeffrey. Got one. How, um, how did you sleep? Sleep? What's that? Oh, Tommy, don't be like this with me. And don't make out like I'm the bad guy here. I'm doing this for us. Yeah, I don't want you to do it for us. I don't want you to do it full but stop. we're in an impossible situation. I would say we're up to our eyeballs in debt, but we're not. We're drowning in it. This is our only way out. If you do this, I walk out that door. <laughs> you're not going to get very far with this thing going, are you? I can't believe you're not taking this seriously. But if I wasn't taking this seriously, I wouldn't be doing it, would I? I can't believe you're not taking me seriously. I mean it, T. If you go through with this, me and you're over.
Hey. All right, trouble. Owen, please. But I'm begging you, please don't make Tina go through this. Please don't make her do it. Well, she's her own person, Tommy. I it's not it. right. Surely, on, on some level, you can understand that. I'm not getting involved, mate. If you can't control your missus, then don't expect me to. It's not about control. I don't want to control any woman, but you've got to get your family in line and stop messing about with mine. Well, like you can't tell your missus what to do, I can't tell my daughters how to run their life. Nor would I want to. Yeah? Well, you want to have a good think about that. And so do you two. Do you get me? Oh, what's wrong now? Me and Tina, we split up because of you. Oh, well, don't say that. Why not? That's the truth. So thanks, thanks, guys. I'm so sorry, Tommy. I didn't mean to cause any upset. Yeah, well, you are. Look, we've talked about how all this is going to work, yeah? So if you won't listen, mate... It's not about listening. I live with her. I'm going to have to stand by and watch while another man's baby grows inside her. How would you feel, Gary? How would you flame me feel? Patch. I think this might be the end of the road. No. We're just not seeing eye to eye, Rita. Well, why? What's happened? I don't know. And I can't stop thinking about it. We, we just can't seem to get over this debt. You're not back messing with drugs. Oh, no, no. I do love him. But we're drowning. And I want to help him, and I, I can help him. It's just so hard. And I thought you were ideally suited. I thought we were. Well, we are. It's just... I don't know. I don't know what to do for the best. Listen, you're more than welcome to come and stay with me. You don't even have to ask. Thanks, Rita. It's just that I'm a little surprised, that's all. The Tina I know isn't a quitter. I don't want to be. The Tina I know would fight for this relationship every step of the way. What time do you call this? Sorry. Wind your neck in, Mother. She's not even late. And with all our debts... You something that stuff is really going to help, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're something to take mind of things, don't you? Who's fault's that? Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself, Tommy. What are you doing with that? You come through the back, please. We need to talk. You let your staff walk all over you. Oh. Since I left school, I've worked my fingers to the bone to get me through week after week. Before I left school, even. Saturday jobs, stacking shelves, the pound shop. But this... This is like winning the lottery, Tommy. And if you're too blind to see that, if you're too pig-headed... So you haven't changed your mind, then? I'm a grafter. I work. I, I make things work. I make <laughs> this work. I'm lazy. Look, I know a good day's work. Look at these hands. Look, I don't want to split up with you, Tommy. But if you won't let me help you, if, if you'd rather we struggle till God knows when, then I will. I'll go. I'll move in with Rita. I know I need money, yeah? Everyone needs money. Yeah, you need it more than most. I'd rather have you more. Does it threaten you? Hey? Does it make you feel like you're less of a bloke or something? <sighs> Tina, even you must know it's weird. What do you mean, even me? I'm not stupid, Tommy. Well, neither am I. And I know my own mind. Oh, that's it. Run away. Go on, typical bloke. If you want to help Gary and Izzy, if, if it's really that important to you, do it. Fill your boots. I will. <laughs> but you won't be leaving me. No, well, I won't have to, will I? Not if you say yeah. I'll be leaving you first. Tommy! Just leave me alone, will you? If you think you're walking out on me, you've got another thing coming. Oh, so it's all right for you to do, oh, but not me. Oh, shut Oh, it was yours just an empty threat? Um, the only thing empty around here, mate, is your red. If you had half a brain, you'd see this is our only option. There's always options, Tina. It's just if you're brave enough to take them. If I was a coward, I wouldn't be suggesting surrogacy, would I? I wasn't talking about that, actually. You know, there's two of us in this relationship, aren't you noticed? But then, no, you probably haven't, because it's all about you and, and why it. why are you being so vile? Do you know what, Tilly? Just go to work. Can't be bothered with this now. Tommy? Sorry, door were open. <laughs> Tommy? Just wondered if I could have a word. Tommy? Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Can I come in? You're in now. Don't ever say in the matter. Hey, you might think you can talk to her like you trod in summit. Don't you get surly with me. You got that. She just winds me up. Well, I'm sorry if you think I'm meddling, 
But I couldn't help notice you and Tina having a bit of a spat in the middle of the street. Understatement of the year. Look, I love that girl. And so do I. And she loves you. She's got a funny way of showing it. And whatever's going wrong between you right now, you can overcome it if you just sit down, talk, work at it. Look, I'm not being rude, Rita, but it's actually none of your business. Fair enough. Just let me say this. If you let her go, you might be making the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I might have been round the block a time or two, but I know what I'm talking about. You don't know the half of it. Well, happen I don't. I bet she just came to see you and gave you this big sob story about how I'm not treating her right. No, no, she didn't. About, about how I'm the big bad wolf and she's the helpless woman, pure as the driven snow, and never puts a foot wrong. She didn't say... Whereas if you knew the truth, did it knock you sick? Try me. I'm doing my best to just keep it together here. Try me. Do you want to know what she's doing? Your precious Tina. Well, uh, She's planning on having a baby for Gary and Izzy. For money. Sorry? And no, you don't need your ears testing. You heard right. Now do you see why I'm so upset? She's going to have a baby for Izzy and Gary. Like a surrogate. Why? Why, Tommy? Asking the wrong person. Oh, she must have talked to you about it. Talk? She, she doesn't know the meaning of the word. I, I tell her how I feel, you know, you know that thing that blokes are supposed to be lousy at doing, but I might as well be speaking Swahili for all the good it does. She says, I don't listen to her, but... How they're paying her? Is that allowed? Ways and means aren't everything, isn't there? Oh, it's not legal, surely. It's illegal to pay someone to have a baby for you, yeah. But it's not illegal if you give them money for, like, expenses and that. It doesn't sound right. I try, Rita. I do. I try and get my head around it, you know, like, if it was someone else, if it, if it was happening across the road, then I'd be fine with it. I'd be like, yeah, nice one. But it's not happening across the road. It's happening here. And I hate it. I doubt there's another man in Britain who wouldn't feel the same way. I'll try telling her that. She says, she says I'm being unreasonable. But I don't want her carrying their... to win someone else's baby and not mine. I mean, how's that going to make me feel? I always thought she was such a sensible girl. There's no arguing with her. Isn't there? She says her mind's made up. I will speak to her. I feel a bit bad, actually, because I told Deb I couldn't work tonight because I wanted to spend time with her. And now she's gone and arranged to stay at a mate's. Oh, we'll have a nice time. Oh, yeah, yeah, not sure about Deb. Yeah, I'll get him in. You grab a table, yeah? Hiya, hiya. Have you and Tommy had a falling out? What makes you say that? Well, you're out the back with him for ages, and then you went AWOL for ten minutes after he went, and now you've got a gob on you. Nope. Just a disagreement. Yeah, uh, two pints, two halves, please, lager. Sure. Evening, Smiler. How do you love? Oh, can I have some crisps, please? Four bags. What flavour? Surprise me. Oh. Well, I'd better get something racy for you. You've got the whiff of a man who lives life in the fast lane, am I right? Well, you're not wrong, love. I'm thinking lime pickle. <laughs> You'll be lucky. Can you have that? Yeah. Thanks. Mm. What's that problem? Tina, need to speak to you. She's serving at the moment, Rita. Yeah, I won't be a tick. I've just spoke to Tommy. So unless you want your business known far and wide, maybe you could take me through to the back and have a quiet word. Not again. I've hardly seen her today. Sorry, Gloria. Well, not as sorry as she'll be when she gets her wages. I'm sure Stella won't mind. Won't mind what? She wants to bunk off again to speak to this one. I'm sorry, Stella. It won't take five minutes. I need to speak to Tina. Well, it doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? Go on. Thank you. 
outrageous. I tell you what, it's going to have to be some changes round here with the staff. Nobody's pulling the weight. Go on. I'll bring them over. And the crisps. Oh, yeah. You sit there. You sit there and you tell me why. Why are you doing this? What did Tommy tell you? That you're going to be a surrogate for Izzy and Gary. It's my business, no one else's. I know you're a kind girl, Tina. Generous. But this is taking it to extremes. Then again, you're not doing it for altruistic reasons, are you? Do you know what altruistic means? It means selfless, not thinking of yourself. But that's not you, is it? Not this time, because you're doing it for the cold, hard cash. That's not fair. And to make them happy. A baby should come from a loving couple. And you will have a loving couple. Gary and Izzy, they're in love. Look, Rita, I, I appreciate your concern, and I know you're only looking out for me, but believe me, I have my reason. What are you doing? Go on. How much? Rita. How much are they paying you? Name your price. Rita. I'll give you the money. Rita, please. I know you think I'm a silly old woman. I do not want to have ever listen, said that. I will just say this much. I don't understand any of this. Well, not because it's hard, isn't it's it? It's not as if you're particularly good friends. Or have I got that wrong as well? No, you haven't got anything wrong. Come on. How much? How much are they paying you? Two grand? Five grand? Ten grand? It's yours. Fifteen. But I don't want your money. Now do you see why I'd be a fool to say no to them? Rita, with that money, I can get rid of every debt we've ever had. I can, I can hold my head up high and start again. Show people around here that I'm not a bad person. Who thinks that? Oh, everyone. Well, not me. Because I don't give my life savings to any Tom, Dick and Harry, you know. Come on, Tina. Take this check. It'll save you getting in trouble with the law. I don't care what the law says. In here, in here, it feels good and it feels right. And if people can't hack that round here, well, that's their lookout. Me, you mean? No, I am sick of people thinking I'm vile just because I don't get on with Kirstie and Tyrone. But by doing this, I can show them that I'm not. Do you hate me? You do, don't you? You hate me. No, I don't. Do you think less of me? The world moves on, and sometimes I can't keep up with it. Today feels like that. I'm sorry. I gather you're not going to be broadcasting this. You can't hide a baby, you know. I'll cross the bridge when I come to it. Sorry, Stella. Are you okay, love? Well, I just hope you lot know what you're doing. Go after the boy. Rita, well, I'm not sure what you know. Enough. But don't worry, I won't be broadcasting it. Is she all right? Ask her yourself. I'm not her mother. Why don't you take the night off? I can manage. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You know, they use no ornament today. Go on. Thank you. I tried. I tried, Tommy. I tried talking to her. But you're right. Her mind's made up. Of course. <laughs> Gary and Izzy were there in the pub. Watch it. Lapping it up. I can't cope with this, Tommy. I thought I was made of stronger stuff than this. I mean, the amount of stuff I've been through. This. This has floored me, Tommy. It has. I can't knock it. So you're running away? Well, with me leg out is I don't think I'll be doing the three-minute mile. After all she's done for you, stood by you through thick and thin. Where's your backbone, Tommy? You know how I feel. Even when you were meddling about with the man who hounded her father till he died. Even when you were selling drugs. Did she 
turn her back on you? No. No. I know it's hard, Tommy. If she goes through with this, she's going to need all the support she can get. Is it not payback time? Tommy? Tommy? What are you doing? What's it to you? You leaving her? You fool. You don't care about me. You don't care about Tina. Well, you do. Probably because she's your little investment. You only care because of what Yoris is going to get out of her. Literally. Actually, I think Tina's quite amazing. You know, you would, wouldn't you? You know what? She's making huge sacrifices to get you out of her hole, and you don't give that, do you? Do you know what, mate? Yeah, you know what, mate. Good luck in finding a girl as good as her. You see, I've been on this planet a good deal longer. Spare me the lectures, will you? You're not my dad. No, because if I was, I'd be giving you a clip around the ear on now and telling you not to be so damn stupid. Nobody understands. Nobody. Except Rita. <laughs> Listen to you. Woe is me. Now, you can step up to the mark, mate. But if you can't man up, then you are making the right decision. Have a nice life, mate. Look at this. to go. No. Yes. No, just... Because I sat there at that bus stop and I thought... I thought, yeah, I can't keep running away every time something bad happens. I don't want it to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to be. But the biggest thing... And it, it was something Owen said. It was how... I'd never find anyone as good as you ever again. Well, I don't know about that. I do. And so, I'm here. Because sometimes... Sometimes you have to stand up and fight. We'll get through this. We'll get through this, I swear. And I might, I might not like what you're doing, but I'm gonna be right there by your side, every step of the way. Do you sleep okay? Mm, fine. Me too. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to go with Tyrone, that money. And then I'm going to go check out a flat. Mm, two rooms, bathroom, separate kitchen, and uh, more importantly, the rent's cheap. Do you want me to come with you? Nah, you're all right. You've got to work, aren't you? Besides, you need every penny. Right, well, I'll go and give Ty his money then, yeah? Oh, thanks. Did you mean what you said last night? Gary, is he in the surrogacy? I'm not over the moon about it, am I? We're gonna be okay, you know. We can get through this. I promise. I hope so. If Tommy's really gone, where does that leave them? Well, back where they started. Tina won't need to help now, will she? I mean, it's Tommy that's got the debts. Oh, you should have done more, you know. You could have tried to talk him round. How could I? If Tommy wanted out. They're gonna 
a bit broken hearted. I know. Right, come on. We're going to be late for work. Come on, I haven't finished the tea yet. Two minutes. Hi. Hey. Hiya. Oh, I'm glad you're all here, actually. I've got something to tell you. Really, love? What about? Uh, it's like this. Um, I think Tommy's coming round to the surrogacy idea. Oh, you don't mind? Well, I won't say that, but he's not totally against it. That's brilliant. Very careful. Let's not get hopes up too much. Is everything okay between you two now? Yeah, we just talked everything through last night. Oh, God. So, what happens now? Well, I'll call the clinic later and make us an appointment, shall I? Definitely. Right, then what? <laughs> then we all go and see them together, I suppose. You know, see what's involved, step by step. Thanks, Tina. I won't let you down. Oh, it's you. Don't worry, I'm not stopping. Good. Have you seen Ruby's little hat? I can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Just there. Oh. I've come to give you this. This week's payment. Oh, thanks. About time. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here, to explain something. Best count it, Tyrone. No, there's no need to count it. Yeah, there is. We're 20 pound down. 20 quid? That's not good enough. We had an agreement. Look, I'm sorry, but you know what Tommy's lost his job. We just haven't got it. I'm not interested in your sad excuses. You promised to pay us back each week on time. But we hate the situation as much as you do, Ty. I don't think so. Have you any idea how much it costs to bring up a baby? I can imagine. Yeah, well, that's not the same thing as living it, is it? No, but I'm sure they're doing the best. No, they're not. Whose side are you on? You'll get your money in full as soon as me and Sammy were working on it. What are you going to do, rob a bank? You'll get it. Hey, up, Lloyd, how's it going? Yeah, mate, fine. What do you think to our Ruby? Oh, she's beautiful. Isn't she? I'm a lucky guy, aren't I? Eh? Proper family man. Yeah, you are a perfect couple. <laughs> oh, thank you. See you later. See ya. What time we got a bit, Malone's? Afternoon, I think. Best ask Tina. Tina! You look happy, love. We've got our first appointment tomorrow. Cancellation at the fertility clinic. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Through that tea. What? what? The clinic. We've got our first appointment. Tomorrow. Already? Yeah, you can make it, can't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. What time do you need to be there? Oh, one o'clock. Yeah, I can't believe it. We're actually going to make this happen. That's a start, Gary. Um, one minute. Tommy? <laughs> What's up? I don't want to know. No, I think you do. What do you want when you find out what I've got to tell you? Try me. I went to see that flat. It was a dump. We're going to have to pay about 500 quid a month if we want anywhere decent. You're joking. I'm not. Well, how are we going to live? I've got no. We're going to end up living in one room. You don't deserve any of this. I hate myself. Hey, stop. Right. Look at me. We will sort this. How? Tell me you know how. They're making two people very happy. Owen, can I have a word? Yeah, of course you can. It's a bit embarrassing. I um, don't really know how to say this. Say what? Yeah, it's about money. I was wondering if we could get an advance. An advance? What, on the surrogacy you mean? Oh, sorry, but I can't. It's out of Please, question. Owen, me and Tommy were desperate. Jason needs us out of the flat. We're going to be home. I'd like to help, but I can't. I mean, I've already helped you out with the job. Yeah, I know. It's just with, you know, what we're doing for Izzy. Yeah, but you, you have to become pregnant first. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah forget it. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Oh, look, I'll tell you what. Let's see how things go tomorrow, OK? And if things start to work out, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk again, all right? OK. That's the best I can do, love. Thanks. I feel dead sorry for them, you know, Tommy and Tina. Up to three years, isn't it? Mm. When they got to leave the flat? Well, as soon as they can. I wish I could help them, you know. I wish I could do something. Especially after what they both do for Izzy. They're a real mess. Yeah, they are. Are you stopping for your tea? That would be very nice, thank you. Owen. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> no, what are you going to say? No, you might not like it. Go on, try me. They could always move into your flat. <laughs> Mine? 
Love, I can't live with those two. They're too young. It wouldn't work out. I didn't mean that. Well, what are you talking about? I'm talking about me and you. What, you mean... me and you... living together? Here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honest? Well, I wouldn't say would if I didn't mean it. Why don't you want to? No, of course I do. Well, you're always here anyway, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So, Tommy and Tina can have your flat and you can move in with me. <laughs> what can I say? Just say you're happy. I'm happy. Good, so am I. Come here. <laughs> uh -huh. What's going on here? Um, I have asked Owen to move in with us. You're all right with that, aren't you? <laughs> what does it mean? He's round here all the time anyway. It's true, I am. <laughs> Might as well move in. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, thanks, sweetheart. What's for tea? <laughs> I've something to tell you. An answer to your problems. Come again? I found you a flat. A flat where? Mine. Are you serious? Very. Where are you going to live? Anna's. Oh, this is great. <laughs> it is, isn't it? So what do you say, eh? No rent, no deposit, you just pay your bills. Well, you do want it, don't you? Uh, of, of course we want it, don't we? Yeah, thanks. Good. Moving tomorrow. <laughs>